I'm Jordan from RK Tunes. This is my 2019 BMW M240 drift car. <laughs> stock car I got it crash we went ahead we want to go with the standalone ECU so even though this is not like a swap this is not in the E36 or 46 the motor we removed the direct injection we run just port injection and I work with link to get them to run a B58 both dual vanos work perfectly throttle body works perfectly and the car run and drives I would say pretty normal I put probably 6,000 miles in the setup so far we have made some changes along the way but overall, runs, drives great. Uh, Link's been helpful because like this is not a common motor. And even though it's not in a swap, it is still running a standalone. There's no stock ECU in the car. It works like it would in any car. So it's pretty cool. So hopefully more people end up using this motor. It seems to work pretty decent for me. Uh, makes about 600 wheel horsepower currently. It could probably make a lot more, but I've driven this car for Drift Week and I want it to stay reliable. We went with um, an intake manifold actually from N54, my least favorite motor ever. Don't buy it, don't do it to yourself. But then we welded to a B58 head flange, South Bay fuel injectors, obviously Link ECU. We put like a standard radiator in the car. The factory is an air to water intake manifold, G35 900 turbo, turbo smart wastegate, so standard turbo on the car. Tremec transmission, clutch master's clutch, wise fab front and rear. This car has like a E92 steering rack in it, E36 power steering palm. I removed so much OEM things that keeping the stock ECU for the average person would be almost impossible. You wanna build a race car and put this in it with a stock ECU, you can't do it. So I wanna make more of a race car. I did a lot of weird things. I used all the OEM wiring through the tank so I had to modify it. I have the stock siphon working perfectly so the fuel goes on the right side. I can run the car till almost zero gas and never have fuel pressure problems. Um, the guys at Link, the guy at Forrest, helped me make it read on my dash, fuel level to some extent. So that's pretty cool. The next is uh, oil level. I finally got the data for that. So we'll put oil level on the dash. But overall it's been, it was, there was some struggles in the beginning because like a lot of unknowns it took a little bit of time. But I mean, once it was on and running, the first night I put on the dyno, I drove it eight hours to West Virginia. So one shot, two, three hours, drove to West Virginia. I wanted to do a standalone, something that would have like flex fuel before this car could do flex fuel and something that could just be a little bit different. Standalones can work really good if you can tune it good. I don't do it every day. It took me probably two, three times as long as someone that does it all day long, but overall the result is good. I just want to give myself a little bit of a challenge to do the standalone. And um, so far I have no real regrets with it, it works. So 